Let's take a step back into Steel Log's history. It's the summer of 2011. Andre Payet is Steel Log's head coach, and the team are about to embark on their second season. There's a number of familiar faces on the roster already, including Ben Bounds, Lee Hayward, Stevie Duncan, Lloyd Gibson, Andy Hurst, and Lewis Bell. Payet looks further afield to strengthen the Steel Log squad, bringing in Ashley Calvert, and two guys who've just won a championship in Manchester in the form of Ben Morgan and Greg Wood. Payette chooses Greg Wood as his captain, talking about him as a player who was underutilised and underappreciated in Manchester. Having served four years as captain and two years as player coach, Greg certainly wasn't underutilised here in Sheffield. And we felt that this was a good time to thank him for his services to the club, especially having come back to help us win a championship. We spoke to a few people who know Greg best to get their thoughts on his impact during his time here at the Steel Logs, both as a player and as coach. Greg is a player, fiery, hard-working, gritty. Every time I play with him, he's always been kind of one of the go-to guys and the leader on the team and someone you can learn a lot from. He's just a passionate individual. Everything he does is 110%. He leaves everything out on the ice. But a little bit more professionalism into the uh, dressing room, a bit more fitness, and his reading of the game and um, tactics were it's someone you really used to hate playing against just because they got under your skin. They're chopping you, they're badgering you the whole game. Um, Steelers might have their bulldog, but we've got our pit bull and, and, and the, the Greg Wood entity. Wants to bring it every night and just a real will to win, really. I mean, his skill sort of speaks for itself through his junior years and playing in the Elite League and everything. He's obviously a skilled guy, but sort of that coupled with his sort of real desire and a bit of grit and determination. Um, it's been nothing but an absolute privilege to play with him. He's a, he's a fantastic individual um, on and off the ice, but a, a great professional as well. The mentality that Woody had is sort of more of a professional hockey player rather than playing as a hobby. Um, I think that was something different and it really changed the sort of culture at the Steel Dogs. You know, Greg's definitely, uh, for me, a massive role model still for, for Sheffield and, and, and continuing that growth. Well, Woody started this, you know, when the ownership came in and took over from the previous regime and they needed somebody young and vibrant and enthusiastic about driving the club forward. Woody was that man and he, he understood the vision of the club, where it wanted to go, and obviously understood the history of the club and obviously previous players which had been there. And he was just somebody that, which had that initial spark and just, you know, got that club on, on the right track with everything on and off the ice. I think he, he he had the unfortunate job of rebuilding after the the tough times that we had, and I don't think he got enough credit for what he actually did. Changing from that old image of the Steel Dogs of the past, uh, the the new era as we called it when we took over, definitely came in um, and he played a big part in, in bringing in some of the new players that have developed and, and obviously became the, the team that we are today. Brought belief back into the guys, he stopped the gooning that the guys were doing and that set the basis for other coaches to take over and build upon. They come and just kind of let you express yourself and play and came and took the, took the handcuffs off and took that fear away from you for making mistakes and encourage you to be creative and encourage you to try things that maybe other coaches would probably shout at you to do. Very, very disciplined in everything he did, on and off the ice. Um, he took coaching and on-ice sessions and everything preparation to the next level. Um, and that's the one thing which I've tried to emulate and try to continue through this season. So for me, pre professionalism and uh, just sheer organisation was something which really, really stood out the water. He should always head high because he kind of put a lot of fundamentals into play and instilled a lot of the way we play that Mould has kind of carried on from. And um, obviously, it all started back then two years ago under Woody. Like a lot, a lot of those boys that are in that change room have not really been in that situation coming down the stretch to win a league title. 
Um, so to bring in another sort of player of Woody's skill, but also his sort of attitude and his experience at winning titles was sort of massive and invaluable. Really, you can't really buy that, so it's a massive help. There's someone on the bench also looking at what else is going up on the ice as a player, and he'll come off and he'll guide the youngsters, just like Morgs does. Um, he is an educator, and he does that very well. Yeah, I think he's helped massively in the room. He's calmed a lot of people down um, as well. He's kind of an experienced wise head that we've got on board as well again to kind of help us coming down and stretching. I really think he helped us get over that line just with his inputs. You know, he knows what to say at the right time and obviously it can be a mardi as well, but you know, it's good, it's good to have. It's great to have on board just for that experience and knowledge. Uh, kept the the changing room, you know, relatively focused when there's been a lot of highs and kept guys up when there's been obviously disappointments in a few of the games. But it's just his experience and his, his composure, again, on and off the ice has been invaluable. He's, he's a massive credit to um, his parents. I know to Natalie who thinks, you know, the world of him and uh, certainly appreciate everything that he's done for us. Just coming back has been a breath of fresh air and he's been an extra, an extra set of eyes, you know, an extra uh, a shoulder to you know, lean on and, and speak to about certain things. Greg, on behalf of the Steel Dogs management team uh, and myself personally, I'd like to congratulate you on a fantastic career. Um, thank you for everything you've done on and off the ice uh, for not just the Steel Dogs but for British ice hockey. Cheers, Wood Dog 19. See you on Instagram. Uh, cheers, Woody. Um, you've been a great help for me throughout my career. Um, it's been great knowing you for, for 10 years and I hope for, for many more years of friendship. Thank you, Woody. Woody, I've known you for many, many years, mate, and just from the bottom of my heart, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming back this season. It's been an absolute privilege and a pleasure playing with you for 15-odd years. I thank you very, very much, and I wish you all the best in your future. Hopefully, it's not the last time we see you on the ice. Never say never, but I thank you again. Love you, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Woody. Thanks for everything, Woody. Shame you support a bad football team, but I'll not hold that against you. Greg, thanks for what you've brought to this club and the way that you brought them out of the uh, doldrums when you first took over as coach. And are you going to be back next year? 